بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم I am Adil Abbas from Netting 6 semester today here to present about my mid semester assessment of textile engineering utilities and services the presentation has been divided into the two sections the first one is working and importance of boilers in textile industry and ways to improve boilers efficiency here are the contents of first section that there is introduction importance and at the end efficiency improvement so start what is boiler actually boiler is an enclosed vessel in which liquid such as water is heated to such extent that it is converted into the steam and then the steam is used for multiple purposes such as power generation and machineries uh, on the basis of structures the boilers has been divided into the two types fire tube boiler and water tube boilers so now here discussing the boiler structure and working principle the simple boiler consists of a pressure vessel a water inlet and steam outlet system a combustion chamber, insulation system and exhaust system uh, while the working of boiler is as following that water is fed from the inlet pipe and fuel is supplied to the combustion chamber where combustion takes place as combustion takes place the water is converted into the steam due to heating and then this steam is uh, sent via outlet pipe to for further modification or its applications um, boiler also consists of several mountings for its protection and accessories for increasing its efficiency while boiler body is properly insulated that there is no heat loss and boiler can work efficiently now importance of boilers in textile industry uh, just like other industries textile industries also require boilers especially in the field of textile processing the first one is dyeing and finishing process uh, dyeing is the process of adding colors and pigment to the fabrics or yarns uh, the dyeing is done in the presence of temperature and high pressure and temperature steam which uh, allows the colors to penetrate in the fabrics and uh, boilers are used at back end to provide the steam the second one is printing process actually printing is a localized dyeing process in which color is applied to the fabric on a localized area so this requires a optimum temperature and pressure steam and requires a boiler at back end which provides steam to the process Ways to improve boiler's efficiency. Efficiency of boiler is defined as the ratio of useful output of steam with respect to total input provided. The efficiency of boiler could be increased by using several accessories uh, which work for boiler efficiency improvement. The first one accessory is the feed pump. Uh, these are pumps used for supplying water of uh, optimum pressure and optimum quantity to the boiler so boiler can work efficiently. The second one accessory is the injectors. Injectors are also devices used for providing the high pressure and quality of water to the boiler and these are often used as replacement of feed pumps. And then economizers. Economizer installed around the chimney of the boiler and the, these are used for utilizing flue gases evolving from the boiler and preheating of feed water. Then there are air preheaters. Air preheaters are also installed along the chimney of boilers and these are used for heating the air which is going to the combustion chamber. Now there is a superheater. Superheater is a device which is used for heating steam which is going as output from the boiler. The steam has to take around around the chimney in a superheater so that steam can be converted into a dry steam. Uh, then there are steam separators. Steam separators are devices which uh, separate the dry steam from the water vapor present steam. Um, actually these use a rotary principle in which the high molecular weight water particles fall down while the lightweight steam go upside and outside the boiler now we are moving towards the section 2 of our presentation titled as effect of humidity on production quality and processes of textile industry and suitable humidification system for textile units here are the contents of second section that there is first introduction effects and at the end there are suggestions uh, what is humidity uh, humidity is defined as the concentration of water vapors in air atmosphere and uh, water vapor are the gaseous state of water and which is invisible to the human eye. Uh, humidity can be expressed uh, in the following terms. The first one is dew point, specific humidity, absolute humidity and relative humidity. Uh, all the terms have their specific definitions but the main focus here is to define the humidity. Humidification systems, these are the systems which are designed to provide optimum level of humidity to an enclosed environment artificially. Almost all type of industries require humidification systems because their production is greatly affected due to humidity levels. Uh, here is the animation shown of a humidifier which is providing steam type humidity to an enclosed system. 
effect of humidity on textile production quality all type of textile goods are very sensitive to the humidity levels and their quality is greatly affected due to the humidity and the first one product is yarn quality yarn quality is adversely affected with the humidity level changes because uh, yarn has specific moisture levels which affect its stiffness mechanical properties bitterness and thickness and thinness so if humidity level is disturbed the yarn moisture level will also be disturbed and the second one is fabric quality the one thing is clear that if yarn has poor humidity and moisture levels then the fabric quality will be affected and uh, other than that if there is a poor humidity level conditions in weaving unit or knitting unit the fabric quality will be affected and the third product is uh, dyed products and the dyeing quality is also directly proportional to the humidity levels if humidity level is not proper the dye penetration will not be possible into the fabrics and the quality of dye will be affected and the fourth one point is garment quality the one thing that should be cleared is if fabric selected for garment manufacturing have poor moisture levels then the garment will also be affected and it can cause shrinkage issues and the second one point is that if garment manufacturing units have improper humidity levels then the quality of garment will be affected the fifth one point is textile testing quality a textile testing report is prepared for the quality of garments or fabrics if the report is poor the customer will not accept the uh, order with the poor reports effects of humidity on the textile production processes textile processes require five major steps and in each step the humidity level is maintained at optimum level to maintain the quality of products the first one process is spinning in spinning there is the high friction contact between fibers and twisting occur and if humidity level is not maintained properly the yarn moisture level can be disturbed which in return can cause static charges development and yarn breakages the second one process is weaving and knitting uh, in weaving there is a continuous friction on yarn due to the shedding and in knitting there is a friction on the yarn due to contact with needle and sinker so if humidity level is not proper then the fabric faults can occur and rejection of fabric from customer will also be faced uh, dyeing and finishing process dyeing process requires optimum level of humidity because dyes are very sensitive to the humidity levels and if humidity level is disturbed the dye or printing stuff will not be penetrated in the fabric and the optimum quality of dyeing will not be achieved Uh, the fourth one and final process is the garment manufacturing process the garment manufacturing units require optimum level of humidity for proper cutting and stitching of fabrics and if humidity is not proper the garment final shape will not be achieved and uh, customer will reject the garment so production will be affected here is a suggested humidification system for textile units uh, these are the spray type humidifiers these humidifier use a spraying principle of room temperature water for maintaining optimum humidity level of closed environments such as textile units uh, the animation shows a spray type humidifier these spray type humidifiers are divided into two types on the basis of their working principle and construction and the first one is atomization spray type humidifier while the second one is mechanical splitter spray type humidifier And the first one type is atomization spray type humidifier these humidifier use a combination of compressed air and water to provide a fine fog of water droplets which maintain the humidity of uh, the environment the second one type is mechanical separator spray type humidifiers these use a centrifugal or axial fans and a disc rotating at back side which provide water and water is thrown in the form of droplets with the help of fan and humidity level of an environment is maintained Uh, here are the pros and cons of spray type humidifiers the advantages are that these are easy to install and these can change their setting very immediately and their maintenance and operating cost is very low and the major advantage which is experience that textile materials uh, are not affected by the water droplets and these are very suitable in such manner for textile units uh, there is a disadvantage that uh, these can cause corrosion to the textile machinery because the textile machinery is composed of metals and metals can catch corrosion very quickly due to water droplets but further if the humidifiers are installed on a uh, adequate height then the water droplets will be converted into the water vapors before reaching the machinery and machinery can be protected Uh, now it is a conclusion boilers and humidification systems are the integral part of any of textile unit and textile unit cannot even operate without boilers and humidification system because the production quality is affected uh, so if boilers are used with proper mountings and accessories the efficiency of boiler can be improved and the efficiency improvement of boiler will directly affect the efficiency of textile units and similarly is in the case of humidification systems if humidification system is proper then the quality of goods will be proper and if humidification system is not proper the quality of goods will also be affected
uh, here are the references of images and animations used in the presentation while the other data has been collected from course and lectures delivered by the teacher uh, thank you allah hafiz for queries the email can be contacted